as in other shape file viewers and editors, you can also select shapes in a shape file based on a, um, a value or an attribute in the uh, shape file data table. And uh, I'm going to start first by sorting in ascending order by the original shape ID. It's usually a good idea with Mac Window GIS to do that. Then uh, I'm going to select all the cities that have a population greater than uh, 500,000. To do that, let's first select the uh, POP1990 um, attribute field name, and then choose the greater than sign, and then type in 500,000. And of course it has the standard equals uh, and or not like regular Boolean operators, and you can use parentheses to create subclauses and so on. This is a fairly simple one. Click on Apply, and then click on Close. And now, let's scroll down, and the first city we find here it, that's highlighted in blue is Seattle, with a population of over 500,000, just a little bit more, in fact. If we scroll down further, eventually, we'll find probably another city. There we go. Milwaukee also has more than 500,000 people. But of course, with a table of over 3,000 entries, it will take us a while to see them. But what you can do is you can click on the View, Show Only Selected Shapes, and now it will only show you those particular selected shapes that have a population greater than 500,000. So there's about you know, 15, 20 of them thereabouts. If you minimize the attribute table and look on the original map, it's difficult to see, but the, um, the cities that meet that particular criteria and have been selected are highlighted in yellow on the table, or on the map, I should say. Let's go back to the attribute table. You can now take these selected values and create a separate shape file that only includes those. And you do that by selection, exported select, export selected features. Let's give it a name. We'll call it big underscore cities. Save it. And ask if we want to load it into the, uh, the map. And let's click on yes. And now, if we go to map, we'll see there's a new layer called big cities. And those are, if we um, double click on that one to open up the legend editor, Let's make it a uh, the size big, because it's a big city. And then close that, and you can see now, plotted in blue, are all the cities in the US that have a population of over 500,000. And we can turn that on and off with a checkbox. OK, last but not least, you can also select shapes on the map, and then figure out which shapes um, you've selected by taking a look at the attribute table. And to demonstrate that, I'm going to turn off the big cities layer. I click on the cities layer here. And then choose the selection tool up at the top. And then click and drag to draw a box to define an area. In this case, we'll take all the state of Washington and a few of the areas from the surrounding states. Release. I don't know if you can see, but the uh, selected cities are now highlighted in yellow. If we go down to the attribute table, those cities that we selected on the map are now also selected here on the, um, uh, the attribute table and we can take those selected shapes and export them into a separate shapefile if we want.